So what we are looking at here then are a bunch of components that I would use to build up a vlogging rig for a smartphone. Now obviously these will also work with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 as well. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I build up a vlogging system based around what I've got in front of me here and give you some options and some ideas for a vlogging rig that you can also use with your Flip 4. Now the first thing and quite possibly the most most important thing is this phone grip by Ulanzi. Now this is made of like a strong alloy, it is really tough and what it is, it has got these jaws here and hopefully as we should be able to see here, inside the jaws they are rubber lined so that they grip your phone really well without scratching it. Also on the top here we have got a cold shoe for mounting anything that is cold shoe mountable as a for instance microphones which I will show you shortly and then underneath here there is a quarter 20 mount and that is going to allow us to connect this to the likes of tripod plates and also pistol grips. And talking about pistol grips this is the one that I use. Now the thing with pistol grips you know there's tons of different varieties of them I would always recommend you just get one which suits you best and kind of fits your hand the best and whatnot however what we definitely need in a pistol grip is a quarter 20 mount on the top here so that we can mount the Ulanzi grip to it and then we also want a quarter 20 mount underneath it so that we can actually mount the pistol grip to other things such as like small tripod legs even a tripod plate or anything that's quarter 20 compatible. So the most basic rig then is going to be the pistol grip and the Ulanzi phone grip and we literally just screw the pistol grip into the bottom of the Ulanzi grip here. So let me just do that, I'll just screw this on. Then as we will see this just becomes then the basis for our vlogging setup. So right now there I have got a pistol grip with the phone grip on the top and this is going to work with a ton of different phones. And another option to a pistol grip could be one of these extension rods and the thing with this not only will it act like a pistol grip but it will also act as an extension rod as well so that could be very flexible depending upon what you are doing but once again this should have a quarter 20 mount on the top there and also on the underneath there it should also have the ability to screw quarter 20 components into there as well and you've also got the option of something like this which is a power bank so basically this has got USB power connections on the top here and you can just plug your phone into there to keep it on continuous power. Now of course this one is set up for a GoPro however you can just as easily use a different type of mount to add on to there to then screw onto your phone and then once again at the bottom here we have got a quarter 20 mount so we could then mount this onto the likes of small tripods and tripod plates. Now before I attach the Flip 4 to that basic setup of the pistol grip and the Ulanzi grip I would always recommend putting a case on the Flip 4. Now although the Ulanzi case has got those rubber pads and it won't scratch the actual phone the thing is whilst you're out and about vlogging you're likely to kind of like start handling your phone a lot more it might be getting thrown in and out of kit bags and stuff like that so always put some kind of a case on it and as far as a case is concerned you don't have to go all mad and crazy and pay for a very expensive one just a really good cheap bog standard one like this will do because at the end of the day the only real thing we're concerned about here is to give the flip 4 some really good edge protection which this case will definitely give it and to connect the flip 4 to the phone grip all we've got to do is on the phone grip here it has got a screw on the top so just open that screw up and it will widen the jaws here and then we just slide the flip 4 into the jaws on the grip there and then just tighten it back up again here now you don't have to over tighten it just tighten it enough so that the flip 4 doesn't move about inside the grip now at this point this might be all that you need for your vlogging rig for your flip 4 so basically the pistol grip and the phone grip here and this will allow you to do a ton of stuff and most notably what this will definitely do is allow you to get a proper hold of your phone rather than trying to hold it from the edges and stuff which 
ain't going to be much use to you if you drop the phone as you're walking around. So like I say, this right now is going to be a fantastic option just to give you a lot of control of your phone. Now, although the pistol grip and the Ulanzi grip are going to give you a fantastic start off for your rig, at the very least, I would always use a little set of tripod legs as well. Now, you've got these ones here, but if you have a look on Amazon, there's tons of different ones. So there's a lot of choice out there. However, for me personally, it's this one that I really like. And this is one by Fiutech. And what it is, it just folds up like this dead simple and all the rest of it. And then it just screws into the bottom of the pistol grip there on that quarter 20 mount. So as we see now, we have got a little tiny set of tripod legs on our vlogging rig. Now at the point that you have got your basic vlogging rig set up, you are all ready to go and vlog with the internal microphones on the Flip 4. However, for those of you out there who want to use external microphones, there's three here that I would definitely recommend for the use with the Flip 4. And the main reason why I would recommend these is because they are all USB-C compatible microphones. So what I'm going to start off with here is the smallest of the microphones and explain how this works and connects to the Flip 4. So the first one here then is the Rode VideoMic Mi C. Now this is called the Mi C because underneath here it has got a USB-C connection which will connect directly to the phone. And also this comes with this nice little fairy hat to keep it warm in the winter. Although that's not what it's for. That's actually a wind filter or a dead cat. And you just simply connect the VideoMic Mi C directly into the USB-C port on the Flip 4 like so. Now at this point, the microphone is fully activated and engaged as well. Now the only drawback here is that you're gonna have to make sure that your case is thin enough in order to put the video mic me see on. If not, just remove the bottom half of the case here and then just connect the video mic me see direct to the bare bone of the phone as it were. Now at this point as well, it's also worth mentioning that this also has a headphone output on it. Now this is not a headphone output to monitor the microphone itself. Basically what this is for is so that you can use this to play back stuff off the phone. So if you want to play back say recordings that you've done or you want to play back something else audio wise off the phone, it just comes straight out of the the back of the mic there. Now whilst the video mic me see is an awesome little convenient option to get into a cardioid microphone for your flip 4, I'm going to say cardioid, I just mean something that picks up from the front, we can also then extend that to a shotgun mic and get a very focused pickup from the front here. Now this one here is the Rode Video Mic Go 2 and despite its tiny size this is a true shotgun microphone so this actually has a more tighter pick up pattern from the front here and this microphone has also got the option of a dead cat as well so another nice little fairy hat for the winter and the cool thing about the go to just like the me c is that this is also usb c so we just connect the go to's shock mount onto the cold shoe on top of the ulanzi grip there tighten it off and then use a usb c to usb c cable to connect the usb c port from the go to directly to the USB-C port on the Flip 4. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning at this point as well, because these microphones are USB-C, we are not going to have any problems trying to connect a 3.5 millimeter jack port to a USB-C input. So none of that messing around takes place here. And also these will be transferring their audio digitally straight into the Flip 4. And if I just struggle like a crazy fool and try and get this little rubber thing off here, as we can see, we have now got a 3.5 millimeter output here for headphones. So once again, we can monitor stuff directly from the phone through that headphone output on the Go 2. Oh, and by the way as well, that little rubber thing that was on the back of the Go 2 there, that's just part of its wind protection solution. So you get that rubber ring with the actual dead cat and that rubber ring will then close off any one of the two ports that are not in use when you're using the microphone to stop wind leakage from going in 
into the mic from the back. And then finally, we can go super mad crazy and go to a higher spec shotgun mic here. And this is the VideoMic NTG once again by Rode. And the reason why I'm laying into the Rode mics here once again is just because all these ones are USB-C compatible. Anyways, this particular microphone here is what I would consider to be a short shotgun microphone. So once again, it has got a relatively short body here or short interference tube, but this one has got a ton of functions on it as well. So this does all kinds of crazy stuff. And also you've got like kind of mic gain and headphone outputs and all kinds of stuff on this one. It's amazing. And once again, just as with the go-to with the NTG, we just connect its suspension cradle to the cold shoe on the Ulanzi, and then we just tighten that off there as well. Now, another thing that's worth mentioning here, and this is also the same on the go too, this little bar here on the suspension cradle actually moves forwards and backwards like that. So that is going to help you to get your microphone out of the field of view, if indeed it is dropping into the field of view. And just as we've seen with the go to the NTG connects via its USB-C port there directly from the microphone and it just goes straight into the USB-C port on the Flip 4. And once again, there is an option for a nice fairy hat for it as well. Okay, so there we have it then, YouTube. A ton of different things there that you can use to build up to your own bespoke vlogging rig for your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. There will be a bunch of links in the video description below taking you to where you can get a bunch of the stuff used in the video. And if you found the video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. It'll definitely help me on YouTube apparently. Also, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon in the process to be notified of similar videos to this in the future. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.